not sure Eric Shiz was having a, having one of her best games so far. No, it's a bit of a mess over this right hand side, and uh, I think that's a good call, Lauren. I, that's the that's the change I would make. But uh, no substitute yet for Ford Lewis. Here comes uh, Mines again, and uh, the ball booted across in the general direction of uh, Schisler. It's a good pass though to the Mines player. Schisler and uh, Shoemaker defending. The ball's kicked forward. And now Erica Schisler's going to get on it. No, she's going to give it up to. Uh, no, she gets the ball, tries to cut it back to uh, Riley and. Ooh, almost messes that up, but it's kicked out of bounds. It'll be a sub coming in now as Shoemaker has the throw in. Let's see who, see who they're calling for. Good call, Lauren, because there goes Erica Schisler. Not quite uh, her usual self today. I and, think she'll, uh, get, she'll get talked to here, and Dame will do a little coaching. They're, what they're doing is they're sliding their midfield over, and they're playing really good team defense, and it's making it difficult for us to... to uh, move that ball through that through that defense so we have to be more quickly when we release on the outside of the field there before they can slide across well this terrific freshman we've seen her score some goals this year Streetel and uh, uh, she's come on the field now up goes the Mines player it's off her head and let's see uh, which way they're going to go yes it uh, no look right now John they got all four of their midfielders all within 25 yards of the sideline right here yeah this is interesting the way Mines are playing but it's certainly working for them as uh, they've um, Certainly played uh, this number one team, uh, Fort Lewis, very even today as Streetle gets her first touch, goes across to Tegmeyer, but she shows too much ball to Mines, and here they come again. Mines are uh, attacking uh, pretty uh, consistently in this first half as uh, Mines try to go about Riley, that uh, left winger, but Riley too clever this time and takes the ball away, goes to Streetle. Streetle's on the ball again. She makes a lovely uh, dribble around her opponent, and there she goes with a left foot strike to Lenga. It's about time somebody passed that accurately to Lenga, and there it is as uh, now Canis has got the ball 30 yards out. Canis is uh, on her right foot looking for... Uh, there's Romero coming away across the half line, the fullback, and she fakes uh, cutting it to Romero and goes straight down the middle of the field. That could have been dangerous. Here's Canis with the left foot shot. It's a beautiful shot. It's in the goal. It's a beautiful shot from 24. Lauren, what a goal. Oh, that's an absolute beautiful shot. I believe that was Teresa Romero that passed the ball in to uh, Haley Hulinga, but it, Haley Hulinga never touched it. It bounced off, I think, the center back of... Uh, School of Mines player there and, and uh, came right to the feet of Emma Canis and, and she is just so solid. She uh, very calmly corner. I've got everything else covered and uh, wow, if she didn't hit that ball right in that top, uh, well, it's the right hand corner, I'm sorry, uh, from the field and uh, yeah, wow. Side netted it there. It was a beautiful shot. Might have been the only place uh, Canis could have scored and she absolutely nailed it. Wow, what a goal. Somewhat against the run of the play, but that's given Fort Lewis some confidence. You can see them all sort of just lift their heads um, as the ball's bouncing around the middle of the field, but it's a foul called on uh, Welcome, I think it was, and uh, that'll be a free kick to two mines. They're about 48 yards out from goal. Here's a long ball coming in. Let's see how it goes. Yes, it's a good one too. It's going to reach all the way to Schmelzy. She has to go up, drops it, but she quickly recovers to pick that up. That was hit very well and it was certainly on frame. But luckily Schmelzy didn't come too far forward. This uh, record setting uh, Fort Lewis keeper, the senior, and she boots that ball down. A good one too, about 60 yards. And uh, Canis and Halinga are going after this. This defender's going to be in trouble. Yes, Canis picks it up, flicks a shot to Halinga. Halinga goes back to Canis. The goal scorer, she's out wide though. Can she come around her uh, opponent being guarded out there? She goes back to uh, Egbom. Egbom's got the ball. She goes all the way back to Ramiro. Fort Lewis going backwards, but they're keeping possession with this uh, one goal lead. As Welcome goes all the way back to Riley now. A series of passes here, but Fort Lewis are going to come again. And finally, Shoemaker lets the ball roll under a foot. And after being right down on the 18, Fort Lewis give up possession here on the half line without Mines ever having touched the ball. Mines coming forward again, but uh, Riley's got the drop on this as there's no forwards uh, too close as Riley just kicks it downfield but does find the Mines player. Ricochets off her and uh, Streetle makes the right decision going outside. But... Uh, gives up the ball but not out of bounds and Streetle quickly recovers off that Mines player and uh, it comes forward again for Fort Lewis but it's going to be kicked out no it didn't go out of bounds Riley uh, ricochets a ball off Mines but luckily it spins to Schmelzy before in the goal before it can do any damage and uh, Romero boots a beautiful right foot pass to um, Egbom who takes off down that left channel but she's being chased hard and uh, that defender's got speed and stayed up with Egbom forcing a uh, pass safely to the keeper yeah, so I see a couple more players. Looks like they're warming up on the uh, sideline. I think that might be Courtney Hall that's uh, getting warmed up with the video. Yeah, the uh, first sub by uh, 
the Fort Lewis coach uh, made sense to us and uh, starting with Canis has already proved to be a great idea by the uh, Fort Lewis coaches as uh, the ball's over the defender's head. Here comes Olengo, oh, oh, bad luck, she was running outside the box and that ball, uh, she wanted to pick that up before it went out of bounds. It did go out of bounds over the goal line but luckily it just touched the head does and here comes the corner kick and it's oh it's pushed too far and it never was on the field and it goes over the crossbar out of bounds so we've got a series of substitutions here looks like uh, Tori Larson and uh, Ashley Niffin and Courtney Hall are coming in and and uh, is that Haley Halinga uh, Emma Canis and Sarah Eggbaum are going off yeah uh, somewhat of a sub- Maybe not uh, to change three players all at once by the coach, but uh, uh, with only 10 minutes to go in this first half, giving uh, those uh, players a rest. Canis, the goal scorer, going off, as Lauren said. Halenga's worked hard for very little reward today. The, the service to Halenga has not been good. And, no, uh, she struggled getting uh, very good service. And same thing with... Uh well, Emma Canis, too, was struggling a little bit getting surface there. It's really been a battle in the midfield. Uh, Mines has done a good job uh, uh, keeping us from being able to ping, ping-pong that ball around. Yeah, they have, Lauren, and they're athletic and they're willing to run. And uh, now the referee has stopped the game. Um, he's talking to Streetel. I don't know why. Um, there's something about... Um, he's asking her to leave the field... But she's now convinced him she's okay. I don't know if that was earrings. Okay, thank you. It was. I wonder why she was pointing at her ear. Uh, um, so either he's let her play with the earrings or they're bandaged. So uh, let's see. Okay, we're underway. As Mines have the ball, they're in defence. And uh, here they come down the field. Mines have the ball, passing out wide to this uh, right wing intercepted by Romero. Gee, Romero reads the ball really well. As a beautiful play there by uh, Niffin to get the ball away from her opponent when the opponent had the advantage. And now it's with uh, Streetle. Streetle has to hurry because she's getting pressured by an opponent. You don't have any time in this game. And sure enough, the ball was taken away there by uh, Mines. They're passing up through the centre circle. Uh, Niffin doing a great job to dispossess uh, Mines, but they do get the ball back. There's too much pressure, though, by Fort Lewis for them to pass it accurately and it goes back to Welcome who just boots that ball downfield and that's going to go all the way down to the northern end of the field out of bounds and that'll be a goal kick and mine zero on off the goal by the freshman Canis and here comes another freshman and that's Riley passing beautifully to Hull just on the field now pushed off the ball by Mines she didn't trap it quite well enough did Hull but she gets back into it now she has to speed over to the corner flag to get it she looks back to see if uh, Streetle's available Streetle is she gets the ball she's going to bang this into through the box it's uh, all over Larson's head almost a half chance for Larson there but cleared away by uh, Mines they've finally got it uh, over the half line but uh, Riley's the one with the drop on the ball there it heads it beautifully to Shoemaker who uh, passes it to Tegmeyer. Tegmeyer surrounded by uh, those blue shirts of mines, but gets it to Niffin, who knocks it in towards Hull in the middle. Fort Lewis looking a little better here uh, since they scored that goal. A little more confidence, but mines still have it, and they're going to come away. Well, hits the back of a mines player as that pass was sent forward, but it's bouncing around the middle of the field. Tegmeyer is in, and she'll pass to Niffin, and Niffin back to Tegmeyer. Tegmeyer to the freshman uh, Romero, who just decides to boot it all the way downfield. Unusual for her not to pass the ball, Romero, and it'll go all the way down to the uh, post. Tempting to uh, try to go over the top and just skip the midfield and, and bring it to feet to one of your forwards, and that's what Teresa Romero had in mind there. Yeah, I'd be okay with that, Lauren, but with the wind, you just have to try to just take a bit of weight off that ball. But uh, soccer's a difficult game, we know that, and here comes Mines, right in the middle of the field there, about 40 yards out there, looking for a long dump into the box here, and there it goes, but guarded by Welcome, all the way to Smelzy, who comes out quickly and dives at the feet of her opponent very safely. That was good technique by uh, Schmelzy, and she bowls it over arm out accurately to uh, Niffin, who stabs it with her left foot to uh, Romero, the freshman, who goes uh, back to Niffin, who makes a bad trap. She didn't like that, and out of bounds it get went, and that'll be a throw into Mines. It's terrible when you do a bad trap right in front of your coach, and that's what happened to Niffin there, as here comes Mine down, down that right to channel, but a harmless ball being knocked into the box by Mines, and uh, that'll go over everybody's head to Schmelzy and uh, Streetle asleep there, because uh, Schmelzy was throwing to her, and she didn't even know anything about it. She had a back to Schmelzy. That's not good soccer, as uh, Mines pick up the ball from that mistake, and here come Mines again, knocking it into the box, but to Romero's there, and she's going to head it safely high and wide, and Tegmeyer's going to get there first. She has to jump into her opponent, but luckily no foul 
by either player there as it comes to Benavides who goes back to uh, Schumacher. Schumacher's got time to find Streetle all by herself out here, the freshman. Here uh, comes uh, Streetle. She's got Larson if she wants her and she's also got Hull going through but she decides to do the reverse pass to Benavides. No way Benavides could keep up with that one. And it's over the goal line funny but she's up and she's fine and in fact the ball's coming right to Streetle and that right foot's fine because she makes a beautiful trap in midair and then sends it to Hull and Hull gives uh, Streetle way too much work to do there as she went back to Streetle but there was defenders everywhere and sure enough mines come away from the ball and uh, Fort Lewis sometimes need to go a bit more vertical here they're sometimes going wide when there's no need to as mines go forward with a long 40 yard pass through the defense of the Fort Lewis College but it runs all the way to Smelzy. No forwards there whatsoever for uh, Mines. And uh, the uh, this champion uh, goalkeeper for Fort Lewis picks it up and they'll boot it 70 yards and it's bouncing into the box. Larson's there with a half chance, but the keeper's going to get there in the nick of time just before Larson could get a head on it for uh, Fort Lewis. And, uh, well, safely in the hands of their Mines keeper. So, we John, I just got an update from uh, Colorado School of Mines. It looks like Regis has scored. It's 1-0. Regis... 22 minutes left in the uh, first half. Three just one, Fort Lewis men zero. That's in Golden, Colorado. Right here, it's the opposite score. It's Fort Lewis one and mines zero as mines are in the box and they're surrounded by three Fort Lewis players but somehow that mines player played brilliantly to come away with the ball, gets it to the top of the arc but poked away finally by Romero Larson has a chance, it's over her head mines still have the ball, booting it uh, south again and that's their direction there's a beautiful header by Welcome that Courtney Hull possibly should have got onto but just couldn't get a feet in the right place, headed away by mines to Niffin, Niffin pokes it towards uh, Larson, she's on the ball now and brilliantly skips around her opponent touches it back to uh, Tegmaier in the middle of the field. Larson possibly could have gone towards the box there, but uh, she went back to Tegmaier. Tegmaier's got it, and Hull's going to have to hurry to get it. Crashes into her opponent. Two players go down, and Tegmaier's back on the ball again, and uh, she's got it, and pressure by Mines forces uh, dispossession there, and Mines have it. They're about 10 yards back of the half line. Here come uh, Mines again. They're looking for some kind of equaliser before the uh, half runs out. Only uh, three and a half minutes to go here. Fort Lewis won off a goal by the freshman Canis, and uh, mine zero as we're coming towards the end of this first half there goes mines but an errant pass there lands on the head of welcome and it goes to larson who traps it nicely goes to benavides she sees niffin coming down that uh, right wing niffin with a lovely pass on the ground to uh, courtney hull who doesn't trap it well and that means she's under pressure should have kept it on the ground but it comes out to streetle here and she's out wide she's got two opponents to beat can she square this ball no she has to go backwards oh that wasn't streetle that was a uh, shoemaker now back to streetle and uh fought down uh, the mines all let's see here in their own penalty box but finally it ricochets off hull out of bounds and that'll be a goal kick too